Hi friends, Vladimir here. This is the daily review for today, Wednesday, 14th of December 2011. I do this review to update about the markets. As you can see, the, uh, the more we come closer to the holiday period, the markets become more volatile. And that's not because of real volumes here. That's because small volumes, the moves get big and we can see the well we can feel the moves now let's take a look on the chart and see what what becomes uh, relevant for us first of all the euro dollar very extreme very divergence and as deeper it goes it might reach the 129.20 might reach 128.70 it might go even lower and as deeper it goes to continue the four hours and the daily divergence uh, the bigger the move we can expect after that of course for long time change we still have to fight these areas but the beginning is just right here the next uh, thing to watch is the euro against the pound also interesting pill also extreme area and the retrace should begin the retrace to 084.40 at least and then i would say even to 084.90 area could easily go and make it uh, if it continues a little lower than 0860, maybe 0350 will be the range to, to watch uh, for the divergence, the current divergence to make then the retrace. Watch this pair. Euro Canadian also a pair that starts the move, but it doesn't feel like the last move. It still looks like we are going to continue lower to have uh, one, I would say 134, 30 or even lower being reached and maybe lower and then the big retrace to begin also pair to follow a new pairs to follow are the pound new zealandian for example if we take a look we have the next resistances here this this one is a current level just right now the next resistances we can see is 28 uh, 30 and higher on the gap and one higher that's the areas we are going to look to attack on 4 hour chart, that's the first area, 2630 and then the next. Continuing divergence just right here, our size getting closer to 80, deeper it goes, the deeper it uh, retraces. If it goes to the next areas, look for retrace to 205 or even lower. That's regards the pound New Zealandian. Another interesting uh, thing to begin to follow is the gold. The deeper the gold moves, we, we could begin to expect it to duplicate a Bollinger Band, right, just right here. And if it reached this area around the supports, 1560, 1570, maybe a little lower, with the continuing divergence we begin to have, whoa, can you imagine what buy it's going to be? Can you imagine what's going to happen if we have more than 20 candles right, a stop there and bam, buy all the way back for 70, 80 or more points, who knows? It's going to be huge. Uh, time to follow the the gold as well. So these are the things we are following. That's what we have here, and uh, we, we we are getting for a panic zone. Panic zone means people begin to afraid that the market is going to crash, and I don't think it's going to happen. Yes, I do believe we can go further down. I can believe I believe we can go easily lower. I don't believe it's it's the last days. Uh, of the markets and of the euros. I think it's all a trick and very soon I believe it's going to stop. We still, we still might see a rally to the end of the year. I don't, I don't <laughs> sign on that and uh, say it's going to happen but it's definitely a possibility based to the divergences we already have. So everything could happen within the next two weeks. And that's my update, my quick update for the markets friends and the levels we have to watch for the entries. Thank you very much for your time. Yours, Vladimir. Bye-bye.